So we are totally about education here at the Fine Young Capitalists, and we asked 4chan what video they wanted us to make. And they said, talk about great female developers, which blew us away because I thought we'd be discussing boobs. So brought to you by 4chan, I'm going to talk about one of the most inspiring women to me in game design, Roberta Williams. But we're going to have to go into the past, so far in the past that we'll be dealing with a lot of low res images because in the past they were actually high res images on a tiny monitor. So why should you care about Roberta Williams? because she's awesome and literally defined how to tell stories in games. Roberta Williams was born in 1953 and co-founded the American video game design studio Sierra Online, later known as Sierra Entertainment, with her husband Ken Williams. She pioneered the genre of graphic adventure. So the story goes, Ken found a game called Colossal Cave Adventures, which was a text-based adventure game. For those of you that spent their childhood playing PS2 games, that means the game had no graphics, just text. And you had to imagine the scenes in your mind. Both Ken and Roberta Williams loved this game, but realized there weren't many similar games. And Roberta loved the idea of the adventure game, but thought it would be better with graphics. So she came up with her own game called Mystery House, which had stunning graphics like this and this. It's like you're really there. Uh, but this was really big at the time. Mystery House is a detective story inspired by Agatha Christie novels, and the game was sold in LA and sold over 10,000 copies, which was incredible for the time. Keep in mind, the game came on a floppy disk in a bag with a photocopied piece of paper, and the majority of people did not own computers. The game series she's most known for is King's Quest. King's Quest was an open world adventure game with an expansive environment for the first time ever that looked like this with mind-blowing 16 color graphics. I know kids, it's not impressive now, but for the time it was mind-blowing. But it pioneered how to tell stories in games and how to make characters that were relatable. And these are things that are still things that we're trying to do today. Her story followed Graham's family and was told not only from his point of view, but from his son, his daughter, and even his wife. You were following this family through games that spanned multiple different styles, input devices, everything. Some of the scenes are funny, some of the scenes are sad, and it's a really interesting world, but it's important because so much of it she invented. Without Roberta Williams to inspire Ron Gilbert, we wouldn't have Maniac Mansion, and Ron Gilbert would inspire Tim Schafer, who would eventually kickstart Broken Age, which is the inspiration for this whole production. Games like The Walking Dead and Wolf Among Us wouldn't exist because she wouldn't be there to expire them. And even non-adventure games like Grand Theft Auto rely a lot on the conventions that she created to tell stories. But it doesn't stop there. Sierra to Entertainment, the company she founded, was also a publisher. They published games like Half-Life, like Counter-Strike, and Fear, and a game called Soft Porn Adventures, where she was naked on the cover. I did it! I managed to get softcore porn legitimately into a conversation about feminism. The company that she founded published Half-Life, which was made by Valve, which would eventually make Steam and allow our Lord and Savior to give us awesome deals, all thanks to this woman. So when someone asks you why women are important to game development, because they literally created the entire industry. Okay, I just want to be serious here for one second. So if people think I'm joking when I say 4chan is the number one sponsor of this project, we're not. More traffic comes from 4chan to the Indiegogo website than it comes from our website. We will continue to pander to 4chan until someone dethrones them. And I'm sorry if it bothers you, but the group that seems to care the most is 4chan. So thank you, 4chan. Keep being awesome, and we'll keep making videos that you like.